Today, nearly 2 billion of the world's 6.8 billion people live without electrical power. The expanding global population is demanding more electricity, and currently, 65 nuclear power plants are under construction, which will be added to the 442 already in operation. New technologies are needed to keep pace, especially in safeguarding and verifying spent nuclear fuel intended for long-term storage. Recently, the International Atomic Energy Agency has tested methods to re-verify the spent fuel stored in dry storage casks when a security seal is lost or tampered. INL's Compton Dry Cask Imaging System offered IAEA an innovative method to image the spent fuel bundles in casks to enhance IAEA's non-proliferation efforts. In support of an IAEA imaging test, I measured the gamma rays coming out of the, several of these casks. And what I expected to find was kind of a, a, a flattened out smear in the, in the energy spectrum uh, that, that's characteristic of scattered gamma rays. But to my surprise, I saw several sharp peaks. And these peaks indicate that a small fraction of the gamma rays actually passes through the cask shielding without scattering. And at that moment, I realized we had a way to verify the contents of these 100-ton containers using gamma-ray spectroscopy. Using a high-resolution gamma-ray detector above a dry cask fuel slot, one can measure both the scattered and unscattered gamma rays. If the detector is positioned above the filled slot, the direct and unscattered gamma rays should outnumber the scattered gamma rays. Conversely, if the detector is positioned above an empty slot, the scattered gamma rays should outnumber the direct gamma rays. In use, the Imager XY positioning system is hoisted to the top of the cask. The position frame aligns the Imager with the cask's spent fuel slots. The detector is then moved, in turn, to positions above each of the storage slots, recording a gamma ray spectrum at each slot. Analysis of the gamma ray spectrum determines if a slot is empty or contains spent fuel. The CDCIS is a breakthrough because the other technologies that were tested by IAEA produced a muddled image and it wasn't possible to distinguish whether there was a fuel assembly in a storage position or not. There's a huge cost and safety bonus using this technology because the cask does not need to be opened for inspection. In this case, the CDCIS can inspect a cask in about 24 hours. The costs are extremely reasonable at about $5,000 per inspection compared to two to $5 million for taking a cask and putting it into a underwater storage pool to remove the fuel for inspection. More than half of the underwater pool storage space in the U.S. is full, and none of the commercial operators are constructing new pool storage. Dry cask storage is the preferred storage method for long term. IAEA has expressed significant interest in CDCIS methods to increase safeguards and ease of spent nuclear fuel management.